and now to do the same drills, but instead of stepping forwards, I step off at an angle. Cross the bottom, cut, and I step. This is stepping offline. Donna, I cut, and I step. Again, offline. So I'm zigzagging. Come back. As I cut, and this is important to cut into your leg. I cut, and I step off one, and again on the other side, cut, step off one. And the aim is to have all of the cuts going through the center of my feet going the other side. Three, four, and backwards. One, two, three, four. These backward ones are a little bit more complicated. I would normally step back with that front leg, but instead I'm going to be stepping back this way. So I step with the flow of the cut. So the basics of this diagonal stepping, going forwards is quite simple. As I cut, I step off to the angle. So I perform the right hand cut, my right foot is forward. From the left hand cut, I step off to the left. Stay in tail guard. From the right hand cut, so I'm stepping with my right foot, I may realign that foot. And as I step, cut to the, on the left side, I step with the left. And I may realign that right foot. Going backwards, there are a couple of different ways that you might end up doing it. So you need to keep it simple, think through it, work through slowly. So here I am in posture down with my left foot forward. I'm going to be cutting on the right, so I'm going to end up with the right foot forward. I can step back with Tuta Volta, but it's a long action. Keep it simple. I'm going to step back with a passing step. Use my right foot forward. I'm going to step back with a passing step, off and around. Cutting with a simple passing step. And stepping back with a simple passing step. Cutting foot with a diagonal passing step. back with a simple passing step. Then adding passing step with a tuta volta. One, two. One, two. And two. And back. Now, instead of passing back first, what I'll do is I'll put the volta out of the way and then pass back. The volta, pass back. Pass, put the, ah, put the. When we don't have a lot of space, instead of taking full steps forwards and backwards, we just change our feet. So, as I step, I can step forwards, 
and I'm going to take a step forwards with the left again, and I can just swap forwards with the right, back with the left, forwards with the right, back with the left. As I'm going backwards, backwards with that one, back with So the difference that it makes when I want to go forwards, forwards and back, forwards and back, forwards and back, I'm going backwards, backwards, forwards, backwards, forwards, backwards. So how does this work? I cut, and I step. I begin my cut, I step at the appropriate time, and I step back. I cut, right, step forwards and back. Forwards and back. So what happens is my sword moving forwards, my foot comes forwards and back. The sword's moving forwards, my foot comes forwards, and I step back. One, two, one, two, one, two, go backwards. Okay, so from here. One, step back, and reset that front foot. Back, and reset the front foot here. Sorry, I should go back, and reset. Back, and reset. Back, and reset. One, one. Exactly the same for going upwards. I'm going forwards. One, two, three, four, and eight. Right. And the same thing for going backwards. One, two, three, four. If I'm doing this diagonal, one, two, Instead of being just a forward step, it tends to be side by step. The notice then becomes the pass and the traverse. The pass and the tutta volta. One, two, one, two, one, two. Upwards cut. And what does this footwork look like in place? Step forward, step back. Cut, step forward, step back. 